Hey guys, my name is Kerr, and in this video today, we are talking about Optifine. This is your go-to to make your Minecraft better. This works great on a PC that's a little bit older, or any PC that you're struggling with frames per second. If your PC is struggling with Minecraft in the least bit, you'll want to choose Optifine. Even if you have a power PC, plays games no problem, you still want Optifine just because it allows for certain options that normal Minecraft doesn't have. And we'll go in that once we install it. So what you'll want to do is click on downloads, it's on the top here, and you're going to get a list of all the downloads Optifine has. Now, I have Adblock, this isn't a big deal for me, uh, but just pay attention so you don't click on the wrong thing. Actually, I'm going to pause it right now. You could click download, this will go through their AdFly link, um, but if you click on mirror, it will take you right to the download file right here. So when you click on this, it will ask you if you want to uh, keep this file, and you do. Sometimes a pop-up happens. Uh, so if you hear a noise, just close the uh, new tab that opens up. Optifine is now downloaded. Let's go ahead and click on it to open it. It'll prompt us to install or cancel. You'll click install and it will tell you that the version is not found. So what you'll need to do is open up your Minecraft. And when you get to the main screen, you're going to edit profile. So we'll go ahead and click edit profile. And now we're just going to look for release 1.8.1 and click save and click play. This will prompt the download for 1.8.1. Once your Minecraft main menu comes up, you can go ahead and close Minecraft. All right, Minecraft is up. We'll go ahead and quit out. We're back to the Optifine install pop-up. Go ahead and click install. Now it says Optifine is successfully installed. Go ahead and click OK. We'll go ahead and open up Minecraft again. And now we'll see a little different version when we check the profile. Now the profile says Optifine. If we click Edit Profile, it's the version we just downloaded. So go ahead and click Play. You can probably close this window. All right, so now before we open up a game, let's go ahead and click Options. These settings are for me that I've already had, and this is merely a suggestion for you guys. I would suggest graphics fast, smooth lighting minimum, smooth lighting level 100%, brightness on bright, fog off. I go with a render distance of 12 and a frame rate, actually I use uh, 80. There we go. Now if we go to quality, turn your mip map levels to off. All this affects is how your game renders, dist or renders objects far away. You don't really need that, especially if you're going to turn your render distance down. If you're having problems with frames per second, I would suggest keeping this somewhere between 2 and 6. And you guys can play with that to see what happens. Uh, and then I would suggest keeping your frame rate maxed out at 30 so it doesn't work any harder than it has to. So, Other than that guys, you really, it's just trial and error with some of this stuff, especially in performance uh, and quality. Just, you can try it, if it doesn't work, change it back. And then go ahead and just go back and forth. This menu is accessible in the, uh, the game itself. This is the first time you're dealing with Optifine. If this tutorial helped you out, please let me know guys. Anyways, until next time, take care. You're actually going to play this with people in your house, like a brother or sister. Whatever the case may be, you have a friend over. You can really just do something like that if you're going to run a server. If you're going to run a server uh, with, with people joining down the street.